She glides effortlessly through the space she claims. Sublime, sensual, moving with dexterous grace. No constraints, just arrogant precision. G'day, I'm Paul Slingsby. Well, I come from a big line of uh, Beachmont Slingsby's. Um, I spent a lot of time at Tambourine Mountain as a kid. Well, I took up um, the guitar about when I was 16. I never liked playing with picks. A good Catholic family, okay, yeah. And I started teaching guitar, playing with my fingernail. I kept burning my fingernail out, fingernail out like there was no tomorrow. I hated holding picks. I couldn't stand having to use them. And when I was teaching my uh, my mate's daughter to play guitar, I noticed she was she was playing, concentrating really hard on holding her pick, and uh, not concentrating what she was doing with her fingering. I'm a '70s music fan, basically. I've always found when you're holding a pick, it's, you're doing something, you're holding a pick, whereas when you're using a snake pick, you've got something on the end of your finger that is an extension of, of yourself, it's an extension of your, your intentions with your fingers, it's uh, something that's, that's, I don't know, what's my words? It's so hard. <laughs> I think that's good. Snake pick has definitely changed my life. I mean, I work a lot harder now, and I've, I've spent a lot more hours away from my lovely family, which I don't like to do. But it's it's given me a, a new a new wake up in the morning. Three years ago, I would never have touched a pick. The pure fact of the matter is, because you need money, you need to pay for patents, you need to um, develop products, prototypes. You need cash. There's something about the freedom of not concentrating on what you're doing when you're playing music, is which every musician wants to aim to get to. It just enables that process that you can let go and you can just start thinking about what's in your mind as opposed to what's holding your sweaty fingers together. We're getting just this great big network of people that are that are talking about. I would never go back now, I'd never thought I'd see myself using one, but um, I'm not a very good, well I suppose I am a good advertisement for the product because I, I wouldn't do without it now. I still call bass players guitarists um, and there's also been a lot of banjo players that have um, been very interested in it. Um, apart from that it's it's mainly guitarists, I still haven't had any violinists contact, uh, contact me, which would be great because I think it'll really have a few um, possibilities there. But I think this experimentation with the picks is something that's going to start expanding, start exploring as people get used to using them. I went on a TV show in 2008 um, showcasing the bit of plastic I wrapped around my finger and out of that came a bunch of people that uh, contacted me and thanked me profusely for for helping them, which uh, there's, a, there's a guy with a uh, couple tunnel syndrome in Victoria who had to give up playing guitar, which was his one love in life, and uh, he had to give it up because he couldn't work, he couldn't hold a pick anymore. And there's people like that. There was an amputee um, who had his thumb severed by a, uh, a, I think it was a farming accident of some sort and uh, he can now play guitar again. There's Keep little things like that that, that I never thought of that, um, that have made the process more worthwhile. It's all word of mouth. Um, all the money for the product so far has gone into the product. It's gone into, well, no money for advertising left, so it's gone into product and it's gone into 
IT security. I have had um, people, especially a few metal players who, who like to, to hold the pick in different ways that they need the head on a different angle. So I've had to bend and develop with that, which unfortunately they're not at yet, but they are coming. Um, I've got a finger pick on the, on the go first because that's my main love. And um, coming up shortly after that will be thumb picks and um, different angle heads for the people who like to play with that um, rock group.